The U.S. women's soccer team is flying high after their historic win in the Women's World Cup final yesterday. They dominated the Netherlands 2-0 to take home the World Cup. The team was celebrating after their victory in the locker room, singing We Are the Champions, drinking champagne, and let's see them. There they are. Yep, even twerking like champs. But now the team has a new battle ahead of them, their legal fight for equal pay. And soccer fans seem to support them, erupting into chants, demanding equal pay following their win. 28 members of the team have filed a lawsuit against the U.S. Soccer Federation alleging gender discrimination. In response, the U.S. Soccer Federation says that any alleged pay differential is due to differences in revenue generated by the teams. Here's what team captain Megan Rapino says about that. I think everyone is is ready for this conversation to move to the next step. I think we're done with the are we worth it, should we have equal pay. Every player at this World Cup put on the most incredible show that you could ever ask for. Um, we can't do anything more. Yeah, I mean, according to ESPN and uh, every single sports site that I saw, MSN Sports, they all looked at the numbers, right, over the last five years and says these ladies generate more revenue and garner higher TV ratings than the men's. So why aren't they correcting this pay disparity right now? Um, well, I think that there's going to be a um, forcible situation happening based on what we call common sense. Um, when you are transparent about things, especially if you're going to say it's based on revenue, then there are these things called accounting and receipts. If we come back and we audit the situation and see that they, in, in fact, do generate more revenue than the men, then they have to put their money where the mouth is, literally. So I'd like to see that done, stat. See, I just think that, that these are only very recent statistics and in the history of football I come from the country where it is our main sport. The numbers are only just correlating like literally in the last few years. So we need more advertising to pay for these women to, the pay gap is still large, but they're already at 90% of what the men earn anyway. So it's not that much of a bigger difference at the moment. It's still not equal when they're making but they don't more do money as, I'm sorry, but they just don't... <sighs> Um, it's got nothing to do with like, how well they do or don't play. They, I think they earn a phenomenal salary for the Not level enough. at which they're, they're at. I, I'm, don't I'm sorry. I don't think I don't they agree. earn enough. And if you look at the statistics from before, uh, you know, they did not get equal exposure. They right. did not get equal marketing. They did not, still to this day, they don't get any sort of profits from their jerseys when the men do. So they're always set up to fail. And even when they were set up to fail, they still exceeded the men. Right, they did. And it's, I mean, you guys know this. I mean, not with this company, but every time it's time for anybody to get paid, everybody's arms get real short like oh we would they print money with FIFA I mean as, as far as I know the world's most popular sport they have the money to pay these women an extra you know a couple hundred thousand dollars this is a way to suppress people anytime people feel they've been unjustly treated they just go well get the receipts we don't know what happened we know what happened women weren't allowed to be showcased I know this I was getting uh, I was I was in LA at my, uh, at my local uh, diner and I heard my dive bar my old school dive bar going crazy at noon and I was like, what is that? It was the Women's World Cup yeah. at noon. So a lot of people profited off of this. A lot of bartenders made a lot of money at noon. Amen, honey. So like, let's, let's pay these women. And Amen. just to say, in Final terms thought. of like the actual percentage, um, as I was recently told not that long ago, you always have to work for $10 and get paid for nine. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sit well for me. It shouldn't sit well for anyone because the idea of that also harkens back to the idea of men being the primary household um, earners. Yeah. It's not like that anymore, so we need to get up to speed and then we'll have less women who are in desperate situations because they're working $10 and only getting paid nine. Well said, Erica.